I'm going on a trip. It's a walking kind of trip to my favorite spot. It's the mailbox. compartment is this 1b what's in the mail well it's another package from our sponsor at n75 motorsports let's get into it looky looky who just showed up we got trippy with his forte hatch gt up bud Trippy's also sponsored by N75 Motorsports. Fun fact. Let's open this baby up. Let's go! Mindy! What the heck are you doing? You trying to open my box? Are you trying to open my box? Fucking noise, bro! And here we have the N75 Motorsport oil catch can kit Woo. let's go see if we can open that up. boom look at that That's nice it. n75 on top in out nice and labeled we got a bracket we got mounting hardware we got hoses and we got lucas's popping bottles <laughs> So we will be installing those two items on the Forte Coupe Turbo. Uh, might be two different videos, I'm not sure. Uh, I do have to go and build a lawnmower right now and my grass is like a freaking jungle. Kind of like my hair. Every video on my hair is just wildly disgusting. Anyways, um, so yeah, we're probably gonna install the catch can in this video, I'm not sure. Uh, when we're gonna do the res delete, uh, intercooler res delete, but we'll get to it at some point. It's an everyday freaking car show around here, fam. This guy goes and Bags is cruise on squeaky clean air suspension. You guys already know that uh, squeaky clean did the uh, custom 101 coilovers for my Forte. So this guy here, Evan, he's been in videos before. I've been in a couple, it's been a while though. You recognize his ugly fucking mug. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, he went and bagged his cruise. Let's go take a look. How Fair was enough. the install? Uh, the install was a giant pain in the ass, um, mostly because I've never done it before. Right. But realistically, it, it's not that it was hard. It was just annoying. Yep. I didn't have a lift. I was laying on the ground with the car up on stands. Right. Um, but as long as you make sure the tubing is all the equal length to each corner, then all the pressures work out. The yep. wiring, Matt at Squeaky Clean did a great job. He had the tank and the compressor all pre-wired for me. Show us the tank. So all I had to do was hook up a power wire, a remote so that the compressor only kicks in when the key is on, Ooh. and hook up a ground. Nice. Now what are your plans for the hatch? Um, that's going to be a long-term plan because it's going to stay like this now until I get the sound system done. And who and are you doing the sound system through? That'll be through Seductive Sounds, Mr. Stephen Fleming. And that's in Peterborough, Ontario, Seductive Sounds. You can go check him out. He, uh, him and I have spoken a few times and we have plans. I just, obviously, funds. I'm in the process of trying to buy a house, so. Bud. Can't do everything all at once. Priorities. <laughs> yeah, the house. It's looking good, though. Where's the, uh... the yeah, the gauge and the switches. Oh, yeah. The custom leather interior. Nice. I haven't 
quite finished it up yet. Looks good. Proud of you. Thank you, sir. Well, this definitely turned into more of a hey look. I got another delivery from N75 uh, Motorsports video. Uh, we did have a few friends show up and hang out with us today, which was awesome. Evan got to show off his um, newly installed air ride, and we had Trippy here with his Forte GT as well. So it was a pretty fun day, actually. Get to hang out with a couple buddies, got some parts in. Uh, but we are going to be doing install videos coming up super super soon and you know what? Let's turn this into more of an informal video as well So we got the duckbill spoiler on the car now. It's painted black um, to match the car uh, same color and let's go over the intake as well actually too and show you what I had to do for that Car is dirty right now. Keep in mind. I do have to keep it in the garage or parked outside normally it would be in the garage but here's the UNR uh, performance duckbill, it's called. Um, I had to order this directly from Korea. It has a really nice fit. It came white, so we did have to paint it black. You install it via 3M, uh, double-sided sticky tape. Two, I'm not sure how many people have this on their coupe. I might, I might be the only one in Ontario. I'm not sure, there's gotta be some people with it in Canada, but I'm not sure how many people actually have this duckbill. Uh, it's definitely one of a kind and a uh, unique part to have on uh, the coupe. Now for, whoops, the uh, intake because that video was kind of chalked when we didn't have any audio for it or anything like that. We went, uh, it went all corrupt and weird. So this is the AFE Takeda um, intake system. I got it from N75 Motorsports. Um, it's meant for the newer generation Fortes. And I say that only because the rad support on the newer gens um, are a little bit different and um, the way their headlights are are a little bit different so this fits way better in the newer gen forte gts um, but here let's let me show you i have the engine cover on right now but this is the afe intake system from n75 motorsports we did have to make a few adjustments and let me show you right now what they were. So immediately right off the bat right here where it sits on the rad support, I had to cut this back to make it fit. So I had to cut that back a bit so that this would fit flush on top. Secondly, this hole does not line up. I had to drill it out a little bit so that it would fit. And over here, it doesn't sit perfect it kind of like the headlights stick out way further on the older gen fortes than the newer ones with this uh, the brackets they have and everything off the rad support here so i had to cut out a little bit right here just so it would fit in thirdly i also had to cut a bit off of the bottom right down here so that it would sit on top of this hose but all in all, I think it does give a really nice look to the engine bay. Um, this is one of the higher estimated horsepower intakes for the vehicle. That's why I went with it. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna take this off and figure out a bracket and kind of like just have it sitting in there or if we're gonna leave this part or what we're gonna do yet, but I do wanna clean this up and make it look a little bit better. But for anybody interested, this system for the vehicle, or for your, like the older gen coupes, the 2014 to 2016, and the hatches for that matter, um, it's not a perfect fit. Keep that in mind. So anyways, guys, I appreciate you uh, sticking around, hanging out with me. It's always, always a great time. Uh, you know making these videos and i enjoy doing them and um covid kind of stopped a lot of it for a while but we're back and uh we're gonna keep going so thanks for the support i hope you keep watching peace out and stay awesome